Many years ago, I heard they say giving is living. Yeah, at the same time, I didn't realize that this would completely change my life and to find that sense of purpose, that big question that everybody always asks. Why are we all here? Why do we do what we do? What is our purpose in life? Do we just come into this world so that we can live, so that we can work, try to make money, and then that's it? Buy the things we want, and then hopefully we retire early, and then we finish? People always ask, there must be something greater to life. What is my higher calling? What is my higher self? What is my highest purpose? And I always say, purpose starts with service. Because you need to allow yourself to become purposeful. Allow yourself to be of service. And I always say, there's no such giving as too small. Because collectively, if we all act with act of kindness, with act of compassion, we do our part, we play our part. Not only does it feel for our good karma points, but at the same time, it builds our spirit up because when we give, we also sow seeds to receive. If we allow our hearts to open up, if we don't allow the limited mind, the conditioning of society to hold us in confinement, and we allow ourselves to express fully in love, in compassion, ask yourself today that question, what would you do? If there were no limitations, there was no limit to money, there was no limit to time, what would you do today for humanity? What would you do to the greater good? And if anybody has ever had that moment before, sometimes you can do everything for yourself. But the moment you do something for somebody else, you're even happier than when you achieve it yourself. And if anybody resonates with what I'm saying here, what does that show us? It shows us that our highest need as a human being is that need to contribute. And once you start contributing, once you start volunteering your time, your service, once you start giving those acts of kindness and compassion, your life will completely change because there are no words that go unheard and no actions go unseen universe is always watching reporting giving points and accounting for all the good deeds you do in this lifetime and on that note i want to share with everybody this beautiful beautiful project that we've been working on for the past 12 years i went out there back in 2010 2011 and we built this beautiful beautiful orphanage and that's where i learned about giving a lot of the kids today in our orphanage, in our school, they're fully grown and they always say, thank you, Master, for changing my life. And I always say to them, I say, what you don't know is it's you guys who saved my life. Because it gave me a sense of perspective. It gave me an understanding of love and compassion. It gave me another idea of what happiness is. Happiness is not about materials. Happiness and fulfillment is not just how much you accumulate in this lifetime, but it's about how much you can give and how much you can contribute and fulfill your highest need and fulfill your highest calling and service on this planet. This is why I believe every single one of you are watching this video right here, right now. I don't believe there's any accidents that happen. I believe everything is deliberate creation and this is an opportunity for whoever it is out there right now who has that heart, that pull to want to join us out in Kenya this month on a volunteer trip that will not only help change their lives, but I believe will also change your lives. And if you are interested in that, please do fill in the form, the first link inside the description and uh, join us. And it'll be nice to meet you on the ground and go out there physically and do our part. Thank you guys so much. Love and prayers for all of you. Namo Himalaya.